What's going on guys, it is Devil Never Cry, and I am back with another vid of Devil May Cry 5. Uh, surprisingly, considering I didn't think that we'd get this much information this soon. But nevertheless, I'm back to cover a short interview that was done with Maki Okabe and Matthew Walker, who serve as the producers for DMC5. Now, considering the interview is in Japanese, um, this was a very rough translation that was done, which is what I'm basically basing this off of. So there may or may not be minor discretions. Having said that, the bulk of what they talked about should be fine, so let's dig right in. First and foremost, they confirm that full development did indeed start immediately after DMC4 SE, which I guess is to be expected. Uh, they wouldn't have brought back the franchise, you know, to, to current gen consoles if they weren't planning on actually doing something with them. They then go on to say that interestingly enough, the team set a goal for 4K 60 frames a second, which is pretty surprising. Um, I'm not sure if current gen consoles can hand that. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm fairly certain PC can. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's good to see that they're aiming quite high here. They then go on to again confirm that faces and clothing was scanned uh, for the character models. Again, we've heard this before, and you know, if you're up to date on the Resident Evil engine, um, you'd know that they did this for Resident Evil 7 as well. So nothing new there, just reconfirming what we already knew. Interestingly enough, they did say that they wanted to make DMC5 as realistic as possible uh, without weathering into the Uncanny Valley territory. And obviously the, the Uncanny Valley is basically just the phenomenon that occurs when things get too hyper-realistic um, and things start to look a bit too off. But looking at what they've done so far, it seems that they've avoided that completely, which is uh, which is pretty good. It's probably tough to want to make things as realistic as possible, but avoiding that sort of state at the same time. Moving on, they then reconfirm that everything is real time. Um, nothing is pre-rendered, or there's no CG footage at all. Which, again, to be expected. We knew this. Um, they they went out and pretty much said it. Heck, even before the Microsoft um, press, uh, you know, right before they they revealed the trailer, they did say that everything that you see is running real time. Don't know if anyone even doubts that at this point, but honestly you shouldn't. Interestingly enough though, they do say that they wanted to reveal DMC5 last year, which does coincide with a lot of the rumours we heard where the game was meant to be unveiled at PSX, which you know, if you want to look at the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite trailer where, you know, you've got Rocket Raccoon um, firing off Ebony and Ivory, that would have been a perfect segue for the DMC5 trailer, but, you, you know, that didn't turn out to be the case, unfortunately. But, again, confirmation that they did indeed want to reveal it last year, but they kind of held back. They stated that they wanted to bring DMC5 and... RE2, you know, the remake, they wanted to bring them out at the same time, so potentially DMC5 got held back because of RE2, maybe it wasn't quite ready to be shown. Uh, they also then go on to state that it is kind of funny that they unveiled both at the same time, considering, you know, DMC spawned from Resident Evil. The producers then go on to say that the game is really, really important for them and the team as well, because they are aiming for the very top. They, they did want this to be the highest peak action game um, basically for this generation, which, you know, it's, again, it's very doable, man. You know, you've got Itsuno and his team who are very, very talented. Um, and again, it's just the hype just continues to rise, you know. Probably the, like, the one example where I'm completely happy with developers sweet-talking us about their game. Because, you know, you know they're going to fucking deliver with what they say. Moving on to some more interesting tidbits. Um, they begin to tease, um, V's character reveal and... Those of you who don't know, V is just basically a code name for the third mysterious character on the box art or the key art. Um, again, titled V because of a leak that happened just before E3, which everybody discredited, um, which turned out to be shockingly true. Um, but yeah, so they're saying that that that, that character and his reveal is basically being going to be teased um, with each of DMC5's promotions, um, starting with the Devil Trigger music video. Um, you know, we've recently, the DMC Reddit and the DMC Discord, um, sort of, you know, they went into their whole analyzing mode and they found a few things here and there in the video. Um, surprisingly, they, they literally found a sentence by overlapping four different frames. Um, shit's fucking crazy. And they're being very, very fickle about this character and who they are. 
uh, even going so far as to deny confirming whether they are male or female. So they really want this to be a mystery. Um, you know, they really want the fan base to sort of work. You know, they want to keep us active. Um, Matt Walker, even on uh, Twitter, he basically was acting as a hype man um, about one of Era's crazy th uh, theory threads on DMC. Um, so it's glad to see that you know the developers are sort of getting involved with the community on this because you know they can tell that we're hyped, which is probably making them hyped. Which everybody's getting fucking hyped for this game. Everybody and their goddamn mother. Then the interview sort of calms down, um, and they talk a little bit more about Nero and his uh, upgradable Devil Breaker arm. Um, basically mentioning that there's going to be cartridges, um, however vague that sounds, I know, um, that can be found around stages um, or bought at the shop, um, which you know basically is the van. And they went on to mention how the van is going to be found throughout, you know, the level locations, basically, you know, basically harkening maybe potentially back to missions and stages or whatnot. Um, we don't know. And then finally, they confirm that Nico is a human, obviously, for those who are doubting. You got your confirmation there. Um, but she's a girl in the family of a gunmaker. Uh, again, this was covered uh, in one of my earlier videos how she's the granddaughter of Nell Goldstein, who, you know, is the original creator of Dante's Ebony and Ivory. And the last point from the interview that I want to cover is they basically stated that Nero's new design. Uh, was made to look much younger than Dante um, and for him to be really recognizable as uh, Virgil's son. And that's it. Stay tuned for more DMC news and I'll see you guys next video.